Hi, can you please tell us your name and what do you do? I am Assembly Member Stephanie Zinnerman and I represent this neighborhood, Crown Heights, and I'm Bedford Stuyvesant, which is just to the south of us. Um, I'm an elected official. Um, I represent over 134,000 people. And um, I'm here today because I sponsored this handful tournament. Um, I sit on the New York State Committee for Tourism, Arts, Parks, and Sports Development. And so I want to make sure that all of our parks are open and available to young people and that they have the opportunity to not only become scholar athletes, but they can consider careers in sports as well. So, sports medicine, sports mar marketing, sports management. Why handball? Well, I grew up playing handball. And if you walk around my district, there are great handball courts like this all over the place. But only my generation plays. The younger generation here doesn't play anymore. So I want to bring the sports back here because we have the infrastructure. And I'm also, you know, just interested in all things sports. But you missed me playing earlier today. I love handball. Uh, since you have the keys to the city, what are you going to change about handball? What plans do you have? Any ideas? Any? Absolutely. Well, we have some spaces that we are reimagining. We would love to put a bubble over this um, park so that we can play year round. Um, we want to make sure that we are connecting to the schools and um, asking them to have handball tournaments again or instruction in the school so that the kids can just come outside after school and play right um, on the court. So um, a couple of those ideas, um, but we want to make sure that we have some year-round facilities where our kids can really train and learn. To have a tournament, you need a permit. To get a permit in Central Park, you need $10,000. Any plans? To, that's a sport killer, by the way. Uh, for a, a sport um, killer. I had no idea it was that um, expensive. But I would have to talk to the assembly person for that area. I only handle this area. And the Parks Department and, and, and I, we work very well together to host. We pay for the permit. It's not that, you know, that expensive because they also want to see um, kids in the park so that they have something safe um, to do and there's something that's meaningful for them. What can we do to introduce more uh, financial incentive into the game as sponsors, as I think that by hosting tournaments like this um, and getting our schools and the other elected officials together, that we can incentivize big corporations to, to, to invest in this sport. If we look around our neighborhood, we have a lot of people who work for big tech, they're artists, they own their own businesses. Um, we should talk to people on a local level about making this investment as well. And I think the footage from today's tournament is going to really get people excited about investing in handball. Why do you like handball itself? It's easy to learn. It's um, a great physical activity. You have to have strategy. You got to be quick. Um, and it's competitive, but it's not mean like football. Um, is there anything else would you like to add? I just want to thank Paul and I want to thank the young people who came out today for this tournament. This is the first one we've ever had, the bed -Stuy Crown Heights um, Classic, um, and their parents for supporting them. I think that is the best way for kids to get involved um, and do well in life, starting with handball. That's a beautiful thing you, you've done. Uh, when can I vote for you? <laughs> You can vote with me November the 8th on Tuesday this year. I will. Thank you Alrighty. very much. Thank you very much.